Miss Spalding Trance Channel here again today for our daily course in Miracles lesson together. Thank you for joining me again today. Today we are doing lesson number 260, Let Me Remember God Created Me. Father, I did not make myself, although in my insanity I thought I did. Yet, as your thoughts, I have not left my source, remaining part of who created me. Your son, my father, calls on you today. Let me remember you created me, let me remember my identity, and let my sinlessness arise again before Christ's vision through which I would look upon my brothers and myself today. Now is our source remembered, and therein we find our true identity at last. Holy indeed are we, because our source can know no sin, and we who are his sons are like each other and alike to him. And that is our lesson for today, lesson number 260, Let Me Remember God Created Me. Let's see what Jesus has to say to us today. You are blessed beings indeed. I am that one that you know as Jesus. And this is a most important thing to remember, is it not? Because you think that you are fallible. You think that you are going to die. You think that you are alone. All of these things are untruths that make you feel separate from everything and everyone, including God, including your brothers and sisters on this earth plane. When you remember that God created you, you begin to treat yourself with respect. You begin to see that unhealthy habits or unloving thoughts and beliefs and ideas acted upon are a blasphemy of sorts. You are really thumbing your nose at God, if you will. So remember today that you are sacred beings indeed. You are ideas in the mind of God that have become manifested. Yes, you live in separation. Yes, you believe that you have been abandoned but the truth is you came here you wanted to do this and it is only when you get tired of the world and tired of chasing your idols that the journey home to oneness to love becomes more attractive some of you will be sitting on the fence still some of you will still be wanting what the world offers you but some of you will be so tired of it that you have no uh, enticements left in that place and there is great relief believe it or not when the world holds no um, value for you anymore it does not mean that you do not participate in life it does not mean that you do not love your fellows what it means is that you are not tormented anymore you are not striving to find things outside of yourself to make you happy that really is what the temptation of the world is and it's there for you as long as you want it. But remembering who created you and how eternal you are and that nothing can threaten your true nature gives you a sense of calm relaxation that very few other things can give you. I am that one that you know as Jesus and I will speak to you again tomorrow. Thank you for joining me today. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.